Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Shane. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Group calls for Buhari's arrest, prosecution by ICC after National Security Advisor revealed Nigeria is bankrupt. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, URIWA, on Tuesday commended the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Rabado, for summoning the courage to admit that the Bola Tinibu led federal government inherited a bankrupt country from the immediate past president Muhammad Buhari administration. Emmanuel Wobiko, the group national coordinator, called for Buhari's investigation, arrest and trial by the International Criminal Court. In the wake of the National Security Advisor's comments, Ribado, while speaking at the Chief of Defense Intelligence Annual Conference 2023, said the country was battling budgetary constraint, having inherited a bankrupt country from the previous administration with about 46 trillion naira in debt to clear. He said, fine, it is important for you to know that we have inherited a very difficult situation, literally a bankrupt country, no money to a point where we can see that all the money we are getting now we are paying back what was taken. It is a serious matter. But this administration is doing its best to meet our requirement, particularly the armed forces. And I believe that you leaders will be able to testify to that. Ribado said, Reacting Wobiko in a statement on Tuesday, accused the Buhari administration of human rights violation, corruption, and economic mismanagement. In a remarks during an interdenominational church service marking Nigeria's 63rd independent anniversary, First Lady Oluremi. Tinibu emphasized that her husband, President Bola Tinibu, is not a magician, but is committed to fixing the country. She stated that the Tinibu administration inherited challenges from past administrations and is focused on repairing the damage without placing blame. Also, in a recent speech at the Chief of Defense Intelligence Annual Conference 2023 in Abuja, Ribado attributed the current financial crisis to the bankruptcy inherited by President Tinibu's administration. While acknowledging budgetary constraints, Ribado assured that the government is diligently working to ensure a robust defense management and security structure. He commended the armed forces for their commitment and positive changes under the current leadership of the group. The right group further alleged the last President tolerated terrorists and 
frustration of civilians, adding it amounted to crime against humanity that ought to be addressed and re redressed by taking the former president to the International Criminal Court. The group further alleged that militant group led by Asari Dokubo engaged in human rights violation unabated. Former militant leader Asari Dokubo revealed that his private army was contracted by the Nigerian government to maintain security on the Abuja Kaduna Road and in various parts of the country. Dokubo made this claim after a meeting with President Bola Tinibu in June 2023, criticizing the performance of the military in addressing insecurity. He asserted that his, main, his men stationed in different regions played a crucial role in ensuring security, challenging the narrative that the military lacked sufficient armament. The Human Rights Writer Association of Nigeria maintained that given the National Security Advisor's disclosure and other human rights issue, Buhari should be investigated and prosecuted by the ICC. So guys, <coughs> what can we say? The havoc caused by Buhari's administration to our economy remains indelible in Nigeria history. A sizable number of his supporters have eventually discovered the truth and realized that it was a blind fellowship, as there was virtually nothing worth appreciating about his two term tenure as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So, guys, what is your take on this? Please kindly subscribe, 